everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be comparing the Fitbit Lux to the new Fitbit Inspire 3. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. Today I'm going to be going over the main similarities and differences between both of these fitness trackers. If you do want to see something more in depth and if you want to learn kind of the basics of how to use each tracker, I do have full reviews on both of these which you can find at the top right or in the description below. So I have the Fitbit Inspire 3 here in the color Lilac Bliss and I have the Fitbit Lux Special Edition here in the color Peony and it also did come with the Goryana metal bracelet. The prices as of recording are, for the Fitbit Lux here, it starts at 169.99 Canadian and 129.99 American. And for the Fitbit Inspire 3, it goes for 129.99 Canadian and 99.99 American. And I will say if you do get the special edition here, it is more expensive by about 50 to $100, depending on you know where you're located. But this one does come with this fantastic chain link bracelet for a real jewelry vibes. These fitness trackers do have a lot in common and I've gone ahead and listed the most important ones on screen for you guys, such as having a color display, sleep tracking, fitness tracking, smartphone notifications, activity tracking, heart rate tracking, and more as you could see on screen. Now these are not all of them, but these are some of the most important, I think. All right guys, so this is what they look like on me. And I have them on the same wrist here so you can get a real feel for the size difference. So looking at the Fitbit Inspire 3, it is a bit larger. So when it comes to comfort, I will say that the Lux has been more comfortable. I don't know what it is about this new band here, but I just find it irritating under here. It irritates me to no end, but that might not be the case for you. I do have sensitive skin, but most Fitbits don't irritate me, but this one definitely does. So I've gone ahead and placed a bunch of spec differences on screen for you guys, for anybody who wants to take a screenshot or just wants to know this information. And now I'm gonna go more into depth about some of these in particular, you know, the ones I find most important. One major spec difference between both of these is the design. So the Lux by nature, you know, it's marketed as being, you know, jewelry on your wrist. But when you have on the silicone fitness tracker, it looks like, you know, it looks like a premium fitness tracker, but still a fitness tracker. It's not until you put on the Goryana bracelet that it starts looking like jewelry. So I absolutely love this band here. And we do have, you know, metal on the side. So it does look a bit more premium. Another difference is with the Inspire 3, you can actually use this one as a clip. If you do go ahead and get the clip accessory, you can actually go ahead and, you know, clip it to your belt or your pants or wherever, and it will track your steps for you and calories and some other metrics like that. So if you don't want to wear it as a traditional smartwatch, you do have that functionality. You do not have that same functionality with the Lux here. You do have to always wear it as a smartwatch here. So we have a button on here. They're kind of these like pressure, like you press it and it turns on and off and this can work as a back button. It, it can also work to turn on and off the display. So it's pretty handy having a buttons here where we have no buttons here. When it does come to the band, I would say that they are very similar, if not identical in the width, but they do have different closure mechanisms here. And a lot of people have had issues with the Lux. A lot of people do find this one hard to close and they think that their Lux is like not working properly and the band's falling off, but it's definitely trickier to close and probably gonna like this one better because it does have, you know, the traditional pins, which are a lot easier to take on and off than what we have on the Lux here. And if you guys are finding this video helpful, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And one thing I wanted to stress is that both of these have the exact same display size. So the Inspire 3 might look a little bit bigger because the case is actually bigger, but when it comes down to it, they have the exact same display size. Talking about operation and ease of use, they are honestly identical when it comes to operation. They have the same functions. You know, we swipe up and down and they bring you to the exact same parts on the smartwatch. So in terms of user experience functionality, they're basically identical. So you're not really getting much of a difference here. 
So the Fitbit Inspire 3 here has a coated battery life up to 10 days, where the Fitbit Lux has a coated battery life up to five days. So with my uses, which I have on screen for you guys, things like, um, you know, connected GPS, walks and runs, daily alarms, timers, and more, I have gotten on average eight days of battery life from the Fitbit Inspire 3, battery life of five to six days from the Fitbit Lux. So honestly, both of these are not bad at all. You only really have to charge each of them once a week. This one, you might charge once every other week, depending on your usage. But I honestly think that both these could fit really well into a lot of people's lifestyles. And battery life does vary heavily between each person. So what I get might be different from what you get. So when it comes to activity tracking between both of these fitness trackers, they both do a great job at tracking my daily metrics, like my steps, my calories burned, active minutes. They also track workouts pretty accurately in my experience. And if I'm doing outdoor activities like walks or runs, the connected GPS has worked flawlessly with my phone's GPS. So activity tracking has not been an issue for me on either of these fitness trackers. All right guys, so which fitness tracker is best for you? Well, if you're someone who wants something that's more affordable, low profile, sporty looking fitness tracker that can track all your basics, and with the Inspire 3 here, you are getting double the battery life. And if you're looking for a band that's easier to change, if you want all those things, I'll definitely go ahead and recommend the Inspire 3 to you. However, if you're someone who is looking for something that looks a bit more premium, having you know metal accents here that you can convert into a real piece of jewelry that can track all your basics, you don't mind having less battery life, then I would definitely recommend checking out the Fitbit Lux here. So when it comes to me, which one I prefer, well, before I say that, comment below and let me know which one that you guys actually do prefer. Just based off of looks and based off of everything I told you today, which one do you think is the better smartwatch? The watch that I prefer is the Fitbit Lux here. I love having the ability to really dress it up. And if I am going to more of a fancy event, I can definitely throw on this and get more of a premium look. And it really does look like a piece of jewelry. People might not even know you're wearing a smartwatch at times, but honestly, I do think both of these are fantastic fitness trackers. And whichever one you choose, I don't think you would have an issue with it. And if you guys are looking to pick up either of these fitness trackers, I've gone ahead and left the link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!